Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome to Books, Beauty, and Stuff. This is episode 6 of my Sunny Days Prologues and Chapters playlist. Today I'm going to be reviewing Poetic Horror by my man Fernando Taylor. First of all, let me talk about Fernando himself. He's a poet that writes different type of poetry to arouse us, to make us learn, to, you know, to educate us. And not only that, his, some of his poetry that he wrote into in the book as well, in Poetic Horror. Well, the title, Poetic Horror. Anyway, this book is about a man named Malachi and his uh, girlfriend, Esperilla. Now, these two are some freaks straight up, okay? You see the book opening up them having sex on a, uh, in a church, on the ch top of a church desk. Now, the reason they was doing it because I guess they was trying to get, they was getting their money from the pastor. And pastor was basically, um, basically BSing them. And on top of that, he, they, they had some business with pastor, basically. So, you know, of course, they already know they got some, they, um, they got the tapes of, one of the um girl their girls have the tapes of pastor um sleeping with one of the hookers. And you know, as usual, it's some of course, you know, when you got money and prestige, you can always find a way to um basically erase it. So basically the pastor Carlos was like, he ain't wanna get caught again, um sleeping with the hookers against, you know, for his image. So they basically had the tape of him sleeping with the hookers. But anyway, um, he had Carlos, the pastor, hires one of his uh, friends to, you know, have sex with one of the prostitutes and beat him up because they had to take. And, you know, of course, they don't get back mode. Now, the book opens is, is really good, first of all. I enjoyed the sex scenes in there because um, Asparella and Malachi did like they done had sex everywhere. Done fucked in the kitchen, in the bathtub, um, probably done fucked outside. They was just, you know, they was really going at it. And to me, when you talk about, and you know what, I'm going to say something about the pastor real quick. He is a hypocrite because, you know, you got a lot of pastors in the pulpit talking about Sunday against prostitution, fornication, gay people and stuff. But y'all participating in activities. That's why I'm like, don't, 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 don't do that. Because if you don't practice, don't preach one thing and then could condemn your own um, flaws and whatnot. Anyway, um, you see some of the poetry in the book. Um, you also see some um, biblical scriptures, which is, at first I kind of found it unusual. Not saying that my man is not um, spiritual or religious, but you know, with the type of book it was, with erotica and stuff. But I'm like, you know what? It made the book stand out to me with that one. Okay. Then not only you have um, Asperilla's drama, you got like. Basically, she's treating the girls like crap. Talk about, oh, if they was me, they uh, would be sleeping outside. But Malachi was like, no, there's a reason why he treats his girl a certain way. And to me, that kind of made me think about the connections I made over the years with people. And it's good never, you know, to burn your bridges with people because you never know what you may need from them at the end. Not even just need, but what how they can help you in certain ways. So Malachi was always good with them. Um... I'm just going to say, this book was so freaky. Um, a couple of times I had to um, stay home and uh, read this book. Because I was like, not stay home, but, you know, read it at home. Because I was like, ooh, child. This is book is definitely Jace approved. And it's definitely Jonathan approved. I mean, I'm sorry, Juni approved. Um, because it does talk about, because Juni likes violence. And, of course, Jace is the freak. He likes erotica. Um, Asperella... You know, she has, um, we understand why that way she acts because she seems like she's money hungry. And you got to understand the way Asperella acts. And I'm just like, now I understand why the, she acts the way she does. And then she had a friend named Pandora who was sleeping with her as well. It was just a mad child. I like the book overall. Um, if you want to know what happened to Pastor, you got to read this book. I'm going to link it in the um, link bar below in the information bar. And I'm also going to link below in the information bar um, his website and um, my review to his um, City Erotic Scriptures as well. Anyway, thank you guys for looking at Books, Beauty, and Stuff. Thank you guys for, you know, reviewing my authors, the authors I review, and checking them out. And just checking out my channel as a whole and supporting me. And thank you guys because I will talk to you later. Bye.